Hi guys, happy Monday this week. I'm going to be hitting hard on the importance of understanding correct portions and using a food scale. We personally have our food scale always sitting on the counter because things like oatmeal or muesli, I cannot eyeball 29 grams off the top of my head. And that's what one portion of this is. Just so you guys know, I I love muesli, but like this is 29 grams. That's all that is one serving. And for me personally, I eat a lot more than that. So I would not be able to figure that out unless I use my food scale. So um, a lot of my clients have been struggling with portions and just understanding like why the scale isn't going down, like why their weight is stuck. And this is a lot... This has a lot to do with it. So this week, I'm going to be sharing lots of things that I personally weigh out on our food scale just to show you guys why it is so important. To fast forward, I did three servings of muesli. Again, this does not seem like a lot. Like, you know, that might be what some person tracks as one serving, but I did three servings. So basically, I did three-fourths of a cup instead of one-fourth, right? Um, so from there I do use measuring cups. Like I just, these were things that although I'm not on bikini prep and not being psychotic about every single thing I put in my mouth, they're just easy things that I can put in. Right. So there's one cup, 90 calories, and I will just weigh that up. And there we go. Sometimes I was putting this much in. And the reason why I started using measuring cups was because I was putting that I was having two cups of soy milk when really I was only having one. So that is why I'm using a measuring cup because for me, I, and this is what I'm saying is like, you might be overestimating what you're eating, overestimating. So I accidentally was putting that I was having 180 calories of soy milk when really I was only having one cup. So you might be overestimating and saying you're having more than you actually are. So you're ripping yourself off or you might be underestimating like the muesli and saying you're having 120 calories when really you're having like 360 right so again i'm going to be showing you guys this week like things that i use for the food scale this has been a conversation i've been having a lot with clients on calls because a lot of struggling with the scale and why their weight is not going down but i'm like hey you know like i don't require it i think i am going to start making it kind of mandatory in the beginning though just to understand and learn proper portions and making sure that you're tracking the most accurate things so i'm going to eat my breakfast quick i am i just wanted to share that with you guys uh, it's two tools that i use right okay so have a great monday i'll be on later bye clients are crushing it and i just had somebody ask me about right rice this is my favorite thing ever so on a container of it it says one third cup dry should be around 50 grams which is 180 calories so if i were to use the measuring cup that they recommend which is one third right i've tried to really like press it down in there this is set to zero it should be 50 grams let's see 58 58 freaking grams so this is where the disconnect is do volume versus mass. The measuring cup is volume and this is actually mass. So there is a disconnect there. It's insane, right? So what I would do, again, I would just take the mass, not, not using the measuring cup. I would just, again, have your bowl set to zero and go in until it says 50. Okay, that is what I do. Oh, too much to 50 just to show you guys so like this is the correct portion that it's recommending in order to hit 180 calories this is the extra amount that it was giving if you use a measuring cup don't mind my dishes if you use a measuring cup like it's giving you a little bit extra and again that's volume this would be using volume versus mass you want to definitely use whatever weight if it says 50 grams 40 grams 100 grams you want to use that over the measuring cup and again i've taken responsibility as a coach i thought everybody knew this i was like you know just everybody uses the the food scales and like you know they do their portions that way i i didn't realize a lot of people were using measuring cups so i've owned up to that i just want to start sharing with you guys the things that i use my food scale for no it just keeps changing okay okay get it together all right, so Cole's helping me with macro food reviews, and we're just looking at portions again with like what my clients have logged, all that good stuff. So explain what you're doing. So a lot of people think that they're drinking one tablespoon worth of like creamer, 
I don't even drink turmeric, but this is soy milk. This will just kind of show the effect of like how much you're actually putting in. So that's a tablespoon, so right? Some people log their creamer as one tablespoon. This is one tablespoon. Boop. And then this is what it would look like. If your coffee doesn't look like that, then you're drinking more than one tablespoon. Yeah, I'd say most people drink probably like a fourth of a cup. Like at least for me, I put in stir it. Just to make sure. Yeah, that's like that. Nope. So if that's like 25 calories for one tablespoon, go for two. Let's see. Okay, three tablespoons. That's getting pretty. Getting light. Yeah. main point is use measuring cups do not eyeball it 